I'm so nervous. Ah! Hey friends, it is 325 on Tuesday, March 19th. I am taking my Casper test, the nursing like situational assessment test, I think it is. I'm taking it now. No, not now. I'm taking it at eight o'clock tonight. So in about four and a half hours, I need to just go through the checklist for preparation. I haven't looked at that at all. I read somewhere that it's actually worse to study for this exam. So I just haven't prepared for it at all. But I think there are a couple logistical things that I need to read. And then I just want to go through a couple like practice problems just to get used to kind of the types of questions that they'll ask me. So we're going to do that now. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what to expect. Hopefully after this, I will feel a little bit better about this. I registered last week for the exam this week because I decided as a very last minute decision to apply to um, University of Dalhousie in Halifax for nursing. I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> Ooh, okay, there are practice tests. Oh, I have to do a systems requirement test. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of this and figure out what's going on and then come back because this is a lot and I need to just do all of this. I'm like kind of nervous and a little like freaking out now. I have four and a half hours, that should be plenty of time to figure all this out. The Casper test assesses social intelligence and professionalism across 10 aspects in situational judgment scenarios to help programs see more than just academic grades. Press the stop rec recording button below to review the playback of your video. Why am I so bad at reading? The Casper test assesses social intelligence and professionalism across 10 aspects in situational judgment scenarios to help programs see more than just academic grades. Press the stop recording button below to review the playback of your video. It's 4.52. I've just been, for the past, like, I think, hour and a bit, just been practicing, going through some practice problems, like a mock Casper practice test. They said you can't really prepare for this, which makes total sense. There's nothing to study because this test is literally just asking you about morally ambiguous situations and then seeing what you would do in them. I'm actually realizing now it was very tiring because I was going through a practice test and I'm just so sleepy now. Like, I feel like I use my brain a little too much. So I might go take a nap now. But yeah, I was just trying to get used to, like, the format of the test because it's really, it's kind of weird. Like, they'll do, like, when half is video responses and the next half is like written responses the time frames are like really short so i think you get like 30 seconds to read a scenario and then they show you a video normally you get 10 seconds to read the question and kind of begin to formulate a response and then you have a minute to do a video response and then for the typing ones you get 30 seconds to read a scenario and then you either watch a video or you read a word prompt again and then you have five minutes to answer three questions i'm just trying to get used to that because this just goes really fast and i just have to think fast and be able to kind of talk more because I want to be able to take up the full minute and just say more rather than say less and just not have much to say. I think this is what I'm going to wear for my Casper. I don't really know because you have to take videos that will be able to like see you from like here up. So I'm just wondering if I should wear this or if I should like put on something else. This is just what I wore to work today. So <laughs> I said to dress like smart casual because your appearance can definitely affect how the people who are rating you feel. I don't know. I'm still nervous. I'm pretty nervous still. I have three hours to take the test. I don't know if I have enough brain cells to think for three hours about morally ambiguous situations. <sighs> until my exam. I am actually really nervous. I don't know if I said that already. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup just a little bit, put on a little more blush. I had dinner and like hung out with my siblings and watched an episode of a show and I took my prayer time. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next 15 minutes. I might just like sit here and pray. <laughs> 
The other thing is too is just like the video responses make me really nervous because when I was trying to answer them it was just like I just felt like I couldn't come up with things like fast enough and then it also really throws me off because the like I can see myself right but I'm not mirrored. <laughs> And so I'm just like hyper conscious of what I look like because it's like when you have the inverted filter on and you just don't look right. So I could only think about that while I was like practicing. <laughs> this morning, literally half an hour before I had to leave for work, I cut my bangs again because they were getting so long and I was debating between growing them out or like cutting them out and letting them grow again. But I decided to cut them because just the process of growing them out is so annoying. They're at a phase where they were just like in my eyeballs and they wouldn't go this way and they wouldn't go that way. Then they were just like everywhere or they would all go that way and they would all go that way. And it just like wasn't, wasn't good. It was just really confusing and it just didn't look good. So I just cut them again, which actually I didn't even realize this morning when I was cutting them. But that was a really good idea because now I have them cut and it looks better for my Casper. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and pray, I think, for the next... 12 minutes i'm gonna sit here pray and then i'm just gonna go through everything i have water i have a mic i'm debating if i should put in headphones but i don't think i want to because then it'll just be like really big and bulky so i think i'll just go with my speakers like i practiced <sighs> i hate the feeling before an exam and this one's even worse because it's just like the video component just like scares me so much but anyways i'm just gonna <sighs> Okay, fun little sidebar just while I'm praying here. Something that I find really beautiful about being Catholic and having faith in God is the ability to rely on something greater than myself. In situations like this where I'm really nervous and I don't really know what's going to happen, I have the option to just surrender and let go and just let the outcome be what it is, knowing that I have a God behind me who is good enough to care for me in everything as long as I let him. No matter what happens, God's got my back, and as long as I do my best and try to follow him, he will guide me on a path to goodness. This kind of eternal perspective is something that I've struggled with for a really long time, but St. Paul said it best to the Romans. If our God is for us, who is against us? Genuinely, nothing else really matters if you're striving to do God's will. That obviously doesn't mean we shouldn't try or we won't struggle in life, but it is again really beautiful to have that reassurance that life is about something bigger than us. It gives you the ability to accept an outcome no matter how hard and know that life will continue to be good. Okay. I think I'm also really nervous because there's really no way for me to prepare for this exam because I did like practice problems and stuff but in reality it's like they're just presenting you with a bunch of morally ambiguous situations and I don't even know if there's like a right or a wrong answer. I also went with this like white blouse on top of my t-shirt but oh my gosh I didn't even think about my background. I have a Totoro in my background. Oh, it's too late to change that. I have nine minutes. I can't move around. Okay, 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 okay. Nine minutes until I get to take my exam and I don't know what to do with myself. I already played the connections and everything for today, so I can't even do that to distract myself. I should take up ASMR. This is not even connected to the camera. It's connected to my laptop so I can use it for my exam. I want to do my nails, but I'm a little too lazy for that. I also don't want to go get them done because it's too expensive. I don't have the budget for it right now, but like I love having my nails done. It just makes me feel so more so more put together. Anyways, okay, eight minutes. I'm going to go. I want to put my camera away. I'm just going to chill. Here we go. I'll see you guys after. Let's do it. Let's do a fun transition. I'll see you guys after. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so in an amazing turn of events, it is 9.20 the next morning, literally 12 hours after I handed in my exam. I handed it in and then literally moments before I hit submit, my friend FaceTimed me and sent right after I submitted it, I FaceTimed her back. Turns out she fell and busted her ankle and couldn't get up and was literally sitting on the sidewalk outside her house. So she called me and I literally went to go rescue her and that's how I spent the rest of my evening. I got home at around midnight, no, around 12.30 a.m. And then I just talked with Bernice, my sister, 
for three hours and I ended up sleeping almost at 4 a.m. So I'm running on very little sleep right now, but I thought I would just come back and like finish the video and kind of talk about the cast for a little bit. It wasn't actually as long as I thought it would be. The thing that I read said that it was gonna be three hours, but it only took like an hour and a half, barely. I think three hours is the max you could take if you took like all the break times and like you took time to start the test or if you had like extra accommodations, things like that. I guess that's why it would take three hours. I thought it'd be really long, but it wasn't that long. So that was great. I think it wasn't hard so much as it was like mentally taxing, especially for the video responses. You had 10 seconds to read the question and then just like come up with a, like a fully formed answer. And so I think for a lot of it, I was just rambling and like repeating myself. In about a month, I'll receive a quartile score to show me how I did compared to other applicants. And then they're going to send my application to my program of interest. Some of the questions were kind of weird. There's one of them I didn't understand where it was like basically the scenario was they had like an initiative for a community fridge that needed support funding raising but they didn't get a grant they needed to like support their initiative and so then they were like oh we need to think about like firing people or like we don't know what to do and then they basically asked me like what do you think we should do that's how they ended all the videos it was really funny they were like what do you think we should do this is the one question i didn't understand i was like super unsure what to say the question was basically something like how would you suggest your team works as a group to fundraise? And I couldn't understand if they wanted like strategies to working as a group or if they wanted strategies that we could group fundraise and like actually give them like action items of like, oh, you can do this to group fundraise. You can do that to group fundraise. Or if they wanted more like strategically, what are good things to do as a group? Like, oh, we can meet weekly and do team bonding so that we have more trust with each other so that we can work together more as a group to fundraise. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just didn't know what direction the question was prompting me to tackle it in. So I was just really lost. But I ended up saying like a little bit of both sides and hoping that that was enough. I don't know though. <sighs> it's so it was so hard and like a lot of it was like we need your advice on this and i'm just like i don't know i don't have advice like i don't have any brains which i feel like is probably what they're trying to weed out so maybe i didn't do great but who knows overall my experience was good i think it went decently okay i'll keep you guys posted as to what happens Hey besties, it is a couple weeks later since I took the Casper. I look like garbage right now because I've been studying all afternoon for my anatomy exam, my anatomy final on Wednesday, which I'm really, really nervous for, but that's a whole other video. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to hop on and finish off this video because I got my Casper results in. So they don't actually give you a full like score, like percentage wise how you did. They just tell you how you did in relation to like everybody else who took the test. And I already looked at it. I for totally forgot that I was filming. And so I didn't like get my live reaction to like my score but I was really confused because I'm not really good at statistics and I don't really remember how any of like quartiles and stuff work they just told me what quartile I was in and I had to like google to make sure that I was like actually I did well as well as I thought I did so anyways I'll read straight from my phone I just have the what they told me in my thing and I'll just read it straight to you and let me know if you're confused too because when I read it I was like uh, I, mm, anyways, so it says my Casper score falls within the 75th to a, 75th and 100th percentile range, which is the fourth quartile relative to all other test takers in your cohort. So I read that and I was like, is that good or is that bad? I don't understand. The following line then goes, this means that your score, they know that I'm stupid, so they're explaining to me. <laughs> This means that your score is higher than 75% to 100% of other test takers in your cohort. And then I had to Google because I was like, I don't know if I'm understanding this right because this sounds a little suspicious because I don't ever expect myself to do well in tests, especially with how much I prepared for the Casper. I was like, I don't think I did that well. It wasn't like hard per se. I think it was just more in terms of like knowing the right things to say and knowing like kind of how I wanted to word it and being able to say everything that I wanted to within the specific time frame but yeah anyways I didn't see this coming I'm very very proud of myself if you watch this far in the video thanks so much for watching me panic prep for the Casper I will see you in the next one bye